Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Jamesia Capri, the nurse practitioner extraordinaire. And welcome to my channel if you're new. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. And thank you for coming back. Today, I wanted to talk to you about intermittent fasting and how I got into intermittent fasting, the benefits of intermittent fasting, and everything that I think that you need to know. I think that all nurse practitioners should be intermittent fasters. So hang in there with me, guys. Let's go. Okay, so we're back and today, as I said, we're going to talk about intermittent fasting. And I know that you guys already know what intermittent fasting is, but for some of you who don't know what that is, that is restricting your um, eating to a certain period of time or fasting for a certain amount of time during the day. And for me, I first started off intermittent fasting um, for a period of what's called 20 and eight. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, that's not right. So for a period of, um, I would fast from evening somewhere around seven in the evening till the next day right at 12. Then I pushed it back a little bit to my first meal being at two and then I would have dinner somewhere around six but then I found that I was eating too close together so that didn't really work so um, I played with it a little bit and you're gonna have to play with it too now I just eat one meal a day for the most part unless it's something special like a special occasion or something like that I will eat more I will you know I'm not like so strict with myself where I don't do that but for me, intermittent fasting and eating one meal a day, which they call the OMAD diet or OMAD inter fasting, intermittent fasting, works best for me and my lifestyle. And I feel like if you're a nurse practitioner or a nurse or someone who works in the medical field, it, intermittent fasting is really the best type of way to eat because of our schedule, because of the energy that we need, because the fact that we need to stay healthy and be healthy and look healthy and all of the above. So for me, the benefits came for, um, when I first started, I'm gonna back up a little bit, I'm sorry. When I first started intermittent fasting, I noticed that I had gained a lot of weight, more weight than I like to carry. Some people didn't even notice that I had gained weight or they didn't think I needed to lose any weight. But for me, about a year and a half or so ago, I noticed I was like 184 pounds. And normally guys, I I feel like I am somewhere that I like to be somewhere between 150 and 160, 165 at the most. And so I just knew that 184 was just too much weight on me. I didn't like the way I looked. My clothes were feeling tight. I could not um, wear the clothes that I normally would wear in my closet and I have a lot of clothes and I love clothes, I love to dress, I love to, to shop and stuff like that. So um, that was a problem for me. So I said, well, you know, I will go on some diets and I've gone on the cabbage soup diet, which I love. I've gone on Atkins diet, I love that too. I've gotten all the, I've gotten results with all these diets and I've actually um, done some writing about a lot of these diets that I've done and how to make them work for you. But anyway, that's another video. But I um, use like the military diet, the three day diet or whatever. I use those to kind of keep myself on track. So I do, um, I used to use them back more in the day when I was not intermittent fasting. But since I've been intermittent fasting for, um, it's actually been about two years now, but I've been really on the OMAD more or less for like a year and almost a year and a half. So for me, um, I just wanted to, I had to lose that weight and nothing was really getting it off and keeping it off. Those diets do work. They get you jump started to go to the next level. And I think you do need to see results. I'm the type of person, I need to see results. Like I want to see some results. If I'm going to be not eating or eating something that I don't like, I want to see results. So 
that's why I like the diets that I um, have put in my little repertoire and that I use, which again are the cabbage soup diet, the military diet, the Atkins diet, or you guys call it now. Um, I think you guys call it keto now, but um, I like those because those work for me. I get results. I don't gain the weight right back. But anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk to you about. Sorry, I got on a tangent. But um, with the intermittent fasting, since I started getting into it, I research a lot and I like to research what I'm doing so I make sure that I'm not damaging myself or hurting myself. And I learned, I couldn't figure out why I had so much energy intermittent fasting. And um, yeah, guys, I, I'm telling you, it's like I was an energizer bunny when I first started intermittent fasting, all this energy from nowhere. But um, it, it just, it's, it's what's called, uh, it's called autophagy. It's when you're, um, you're turning over your cells in your body and your body is repairing itself. So when you're not eating, your body has the opportunity to repair itself and not focus on digesting your food. So that's autophagy in a nutshell, really what it is. And I noticed that when I was eating like um, three meals a day, I was having a lot of pain, a lot of muscle aches, a lot of just, just grogginess, a lot of constipation, a lot of things was happening with my body um, that I just couldn't figure out how to get that right. And once I started in intermittent fasting, my whole life has changed. I eat what I want. I, I'm not a strict like, okay, when I eat, I have to eat this or that. For me, I eat what I want. Now, I may not be the best person to ask about intermittent fasting, what you should eat, but I do the intermittent fasting. So a day for me basically looks like in the morning I get up, I have my coffee. I don't give that up. I have my coffee. Um, and then I'll eat anywhere between the hours of, say, 2 o'clock, 2.30, I'm getting pretty hungry, to about 5 o'clock or so. Um, that's when I try to start my meal, one of those times in there. When I'm out on the road and I'm really working and I'm out in the community, then most of the, most of the times I will try to eat somewhere around 2.30 and that will be my meal for the day. And then I'll eat again the next day somewhere around 2.30. But when I'm, when I know I have to eat like with my family or if I'm going with a girlfriend out for, for lunch or something like that, or even for breakfast, I still try to make sure that I pace myself so that I don't eat more <clears throat> throughout the day because it just works better for me. And I think that it will work for you too if you consider intermittent fasting. Now you don't have to do like I do, like go all in and do one meal a day. You don't have to do that. And I'm not saying that I'll do it forever and ever, amen. But for me, it does work for me. Um, and a, a lot of people approach me about how do you keep your weight off or how do you do this or how do you do that or whatever. Um, and mainly that's because I do intermittent fasting. So um, if I know I'm gonna be out for an event or I have to be out with my girls or something like that, I try to make sure that that's my meal for the day and I maximize that time with my friends, that socialization and that meal. Uh, sometimes I'll slip up and I'll have something in the, in the evening with my family or if I have to cook something, I'll taste it or whatever. I'll have a salad or something like that or I may eat a very small portion of whatever it is that I'm eating with my family. But I give myself some grace because for the most part, I do uh, the one meal a day. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because you guys should be intermittent fasting too. You will feel better, you'll have more energy, you'll, you'll have your weight at where you want it to be. Oh, right now my weight is 167. Uh, I am going to be doing some little challenges with my daughter, like a water fast challenge and whatever, um, just to see if I lost any weight. So as you know, just if, in case I put it in this video, um, I started the water challenge at 167 and um, I'm going to do some type of video of my weight on the scale or whatever, but um, maybe, um, maybe the water challenge or whatever will, will help me lose a little bit more and to get closer to that 155, 160-ish where I like to be. Now, my husband doesn't like it that much, but that's where I like my body to be. That's what I, I feel more comfortable at that weight. Um, 
So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And I think you should try it. You don't have to do the one meal a day starting out, but just maybe it will work for you. I love the fact that I have tons of energy. I, I feel good, I'm not sluggish, my body doesn't feel sluggish, and those aches and pains that I used to have, I'm telling you, they came out of nowhere. I don't know why I was having those aches and pains, but I believe that intermittent fasting has allowed my body to heal itself with whatever might have been going on with me because I don't get those anymore. Um, although, you know, I do have some flaws, you know, like my cholesterol is a little bit up, um, I wish I, I wish intermittent fasting helped with that, but I think I just have to work out y'all for real, for real. And I do work out, but not like, and because I do intermittent fast, I don't gain the weight, but you know, you have to have cardio. You have to do the things that you should. Now I will work out two times a week, sometimes three, but guys, I'm not a big, um, I haven't been a big, like workout, workout, workout. Uh, just because of my lifestyle and my time and all the things that I do. But anyway, I'm rambling now. I just want you guys to know that that's what I'm doing. I want you to do it too. If you like this video, please hit the like. If you uh, have not subscribed already, please hit that bell and subscribe and know uh, that I upload videos every Tuesday and Saturday. And thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you subscribe to my channel. If you, oh, leave me some comments. If you want some other type of intermittent fasting, if you wanna see what I eat when I'm on it, telling you guys I eat anything. But anyway, thanks for stopping by guys. Take care. Woo!